What's up, Domino community? It is day two of the 30-day Domino challenge, and well, I am in a position where I need to start over completely. So you remember last time I was building the circle field? I changed the design, but I changed it like 10 times. I was going to do a circle field, but then I was like, okay, how about I just do like a four-way split instead of a full circle field with like 10 million different splits. And then I thought like that might be too much. So I did a bunch of drawings and I, I did some iterations where it doesn't need to split into four necessarily, but it could also split into three or split into two starting in the middle. So technically this spiral and this spiral is the same, except this spiral, you'll see that the lines become closer towards the end of the spiral. Whereas this spiral, the distance between each row is generally the same. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the tri-spiral, it starts in the middle, but it's interesting because it starts like a normal three-way spiral, but then it splits at multiple points. Here, it goes into two, into two, into two. So then there's six lines falling. And then later on, after it makes another rotation, it splits again into two, right here, 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 here. So then it turns into 12 lines at that point. So it starts with three and then six and then into 12. So as the spiral falls, it'll increasingly become more complex and more intense. And that is exactly the plan and the effect that I'm trying to go for. I don't think I've done a spiral um, with, with this kind of concept in mind before, but I think it'll be really cool. So that means I unfortunately need to get rid of this plan, which I spent like 30 minutes figuring out all to just step through it. <laughs> and then since I don't need this circle field anymore, we're gonna knock it down. All that work. It's okay though. This is what leads to great domino art, right? You make stuff and then you figure out a way to make it even better. So let's knock this down. Okay, that start super smooth. Pretty much all of it is taped down, like all of these corners right here going around the U-turn. Um, I also taped down these so they're not going to slide out, but it's looking really good. Now that I have the start done, I can kind of just build it all out now. I'm excited to get started. And I just realized I passed the 30 minute mark already. And I literally, I feel like I just started and I haven't even set up any dominoes technically now, but I'm going to reset these. Now we can build the spiral. So I've been measuring out the distances between rows. They should be approximately one and a half dominoes. And I've done that for four of the sides. So now I just need to connect them all like this. I might do the diagonals as well, but this is a good way to kind of make sure this is all going to be a perfect circle. And it's been over an hour now. I think now that I have it all mapped out, it's gonna go really fast and I'm just gonna get like super into it. Cause this is the kind of project where I don't necessarily need to think about it. I just need to connect the lines now. So super chill. This is where it gets really fun. That is a wrap for day two. One hour and 13 minutes for Friday. It is day three now and I am ready to finish the spiral. The first few days have been kind of a slow start, but I am planning to work literally maybe like five hours straight and just finish this thing because I want to topple it tonight. I think it should be pretty straightforward, but let's turn on the time lapse and then get started. It's only day three, yet I find that I'm still getting really distracted. I set up that one safety gap on camera so I could get footage. And then I literally just got distracted to do social media posts and then my head started hurting so I went to go play piano. And then it's it's already like, it's already 1.30 and I haven't even started building yet. And I wanted to build the entire day. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna try to stop doing this. Yet at the same time, I do need to take breaks. It's just figuring out how long of a break and when to take the break without getting too distracted. You know what I mean? Let's keep building. over 
two hours of building and I'm finding that using a stopwatch has been really motivating because I have a timer that's going like 24 seven and I can visibly see the timer going and ticking away and being like, okay, you turn on the timer. That means you're about to start building. So you got to commit to it. Secondly, I found that sometimes I forget to turn off the timer and turn on the timer when I like take a break. And sometimes when I forget to turn on the timer, it's like I've built more than I actually have. And I never want to like stop the timer before 30 minutes. I always want to build more than 30 if I can. So like, it's good. I'm technically going to end up building more than if I didn't. And whenever I take a break, I usually do press the pause button on it. I guess I'm just curious to know, how are you keeping track of the time? Are you writing down the time that you start? and then the time that you end, or are you also keeping a stopwatch or something? Like, what, what is your method? I literally just did that again. Okay, I forgot to turn on the timer. See, I've been building more than I actually have. This is my first fail from the project. Not too bad, not too bad. Good thing I put a safety gap right there. All right, it's been over five and a half hours and I just finished the spiral. Finally, here we go, this is it. It's been a long day building, but I did set a goal of knocking it down today. So I'm going to do that. It is past midnight. I don't wanna wait till tomorrow because I have to wait till the sun goes down and that'll take a really long time and I need to do the next project. So we're gonna knock it down tonight. Then I'm gonna rest my back. All right, I just toppled it. It was perfect, except there were a few color changing dominoes that didn't fall in the right direction because I put the domino in the wrong position. It should have been flipped 180. But other than that, it was perfect. And that effect was so much cooler than I thought it would be. And it really came out well. I think it's gonna be awesome, especially from that overhead camera up there. Like, dang, I'm excited for y'all to see it. This is a very unique spiral. And now it's 3 a.m. so I'm going to go to bed. This has been day three of the 30 day domino challenge. Have a good night. It is day four of the 30 day domino challenge. And now that this is done, I'm actually going to rebuild it a different way. And you'll find out in the video why I'm doing this, but time to rebuild, except this time it should be faster because it's all laid out already. I just need to set up the dominoes again. Here we go. It's been over an hour of building so far and I'm feeling kind of unmotivated. I just went for a walk so my legs are kind of tired and I've been like leaning over all these dominoes like crouching like this on my ankles. So it's it's been a lot of like stress on my feet and just like trying to balance everywhere while also building. So I'm getting a workout and uh, I'm, I'm gonna push myself to keep building because I really need to finish this. I know I, I know the challenge is only 30 minutes, but like I do have a deadline for this project and I need to be home soon. So we're gonna keep going. Even when it's tough, you just gotta push through, right? I do really well with deadlines. So if someone gives me a deadline, like I I gotta stick to that. Like, I, I always stick to that for the most part. End of day four, I've been building for four and a half hours. I completely rebuilt the spiral. This time it was much faster. This weekend has just been full of dominoes. I got one more day of building and then I should be done with this project. Yeah, I, I think after this, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and do, well, not a break. I'll do like 30 minutes every day. And then afterward, I'm going to get more hardcore into projects, but it's been, it's been a good weekend, but my back hurts a little bit, not gonna lie. <laughs> It is day five of the 30 day domino challenge. It is currently nine o'clock at night, three hours left in the day, but I'm going to start building because I just finished cleaning up all of the dominoes. I'm going to make a smaller version of the spiral over here. And then part of it is going to change into red dominoes instead of gray. All right, this is the end of day five. I've built for over an hour and a half and I'm about to knock it down. So I forgot to turn on the timer for a little bit, so I'm gonna round this up to an hour and a half. So April 5th, done. 
So it is 11.40 p.m. Uh, yeah, really late. And I really honestly don't want to build. I just, it's been a long day. I drove back home. I'm at my place now. I did some exercise. I literally just finished eating dinner at 11.30. And uh, usually like after a big project, I'll just kind of chill for the next few days or even sometimes a week after doing a really long project. But you know, I, I'm just gonna push myself. Even though it's really late at night, I'm gonna do some really chill domino projects and um, make some TikToks for uh, <laughs> Spin Master because they're they're looking for some H5 domino creations themed domino projects. So I'm gonna just chill and do some of that. It's gonna be past midnight when I finish, but I'm going with the challenge, you know. Even if I I don't necessarily want to build right now, we're just we're gonna do it because I really like seeing a full calendar of of X's. Let's go build. All right, it's been eight minutes and I've set up 100 dominoes using the H5 domino creation set. I'm gonna knock it down, film it in portrait mode, and it'll be good for TikTok. Also, if you aren't following me on TikTok yet, go follow me at Hevish5. Do you even use TikTok? Is TikTok a thing? Do people still use it? Let me know in the comments, I don't know. Set up number two. This setup is actually a little bit risky. Like, I don't know if this is gonna work. This is also kind of sketchy going off of this trick into this lever over here. And then we have a template as a direction changer. And then going over into this speed wall. Very risky. If you think it'll work, comment down below. I wanna say this is like a 50% chance of working, but we'll see. It worked! Wow, I did not expect that. First try. All right, I've passed the 30 minute mark. So that's 30 minutes of building today. It's 12.31. I did cut it a little bit close today, but I did build for 30 minutes. Yay. I'm really tired though, and I'm gonna go to bed. So let's cross this off. Hopefully this is in focus. There we go. All right, so it's April 7 and I'm intentionally, this is just life, right? I, I'm going to intentionally skip a day of building because I do not have time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it would really stress me out if I started building for 30 minutes and I had to clean up because I'm in the middle of projects. So like, what am I gonna build for 30 minutes and then like have to knock it down and then like start over again the next day. And then also this morning was just so crazy. I woke up to a million messages from my dad being like, where are you? Where are you? Hello, I need to talk to you right now. Why aren't you answering your phone? But I was just sleeping and then like a bunch of emails that I had to urgently answer. So it's just been kind of a crazy day and I am trying to figure out how I'm gonna cram everything I need to do in this one day. So it is April 7, the last day of the week and I am going to not build I'm sorry. Now, I think it's okay. Like if you need to take a day, that's fine. Life happens and it's not the end of the world if you skip a day in the challenge. I think it's just knowing like when you need to take that break, take the break, like don't necessarily feel bad for it, but also challenge yourself at the same time, but not too much because I would be very not good <laughs> if I started building a project right now. So anyways, um, that is the first week of the 30 day domino challenge. I hope this was interesting. How How is everyone doing with theirs? Like, let me know in the comments, give me an update. I wanna give a shout out to everyone who has been participating in the challenge. I've been seeing your posts on YouTube and Instagram and it just makes me so happy to see people are building with me and that you're learning, you know, every single day. So keep up the great work. Our featured community member goes to FJ Domino. Huge shout out to them they're making some amazing videos and also doing the challenge so high five well done if you want to join us in the challenge again you can register at hevish5.com 30 day challenge and as always i'm lily hevish and keep on building